Good morning, YouTube. I am in Tokyo. It's unbelievable. And it's like a bucket list trip that I never thought would happen. But being that I'm in Tokyo, there is a handful of places that I want to go. One place that I absolutely have to go. And that is out of box, a pit. Supposedly the craziest car store in the world. So when you first walk in, it's just overwhelming. It's massive. It's like a Costco, but way nicer. And there's this really cool four panel TV display that shows you what's going on in the maintenance pit, the car care pit, the oil pit, and the sports pit, which is kind of like the modifications pit. There's tons of merch, t-shirts, hoodies, apparel, hats for your favorite brands, your favorite race teams, you've got like the Honda Civic Type R stuff, the Golf stuff, you've got like kind of the classic racing livery themes. There's a bunch of exclusive Drift King stuff, which I thought was really cool. And, you know, obviously drifting coming from Japan is a huge thing. It's not my thing yet. I'd love to get into it, but that's down the road for me here's the drift king stuff and then in the back you can see the red bull oracle f1 stuff you can get basically any of the brands that you would normally think of as a as a manufacturer for wheels or something like that rays volk those types of companies have their own merch you can get all sorts of f1 this is exclusive honda racing f1 stuff they even have watches and sunglasses for all these brands as well not every brand obviously and of course, anime, manga, MF Ghosts, no brainer. You you probably expect to see this, but there was plenty of it. There's plenty of the 8.6 BRZ gear, magazines, books, etc. There's obviously still a ton of Initial D stuff. I would love to have some of this stuff as well. Somebody who came up watching this way back in the day, but I'm limited to suitcase space coming back. So we'll have to see. There are a ton of die cast models, Hot Wheels, all these kind of co collectible cars and things like that, where a lot of it's exclusive, a lot of it's stuff that you just don't see anywhere else, or you'd have to buy it off of eBay or someplace like that, which is really cool to see. There's also artwork spread everywhere. I love this Senna piece. I would love to have that up in the garage. One of the things that stood out too was they still have some Tokyo Auto Salon merch, which is a couple months old at this point, but it was really cool to see. I may or may not have picked up. You'll have to check out the next video to see if I grabbed anything. But if you know me, I love magazines. I love books. I love photography. I love all of this lifestyle stuff that kind of goes alongside of the passions that we have in life. And for me, car magazines have always been a huge part of my life. I've been lucky enough to work for a couple of magazines throughout my career in the sneaker world, but to be able to see all of this in existence in print in Japan is really, really cool. It just, it makes you appreciate the things that you're passionate about more, in my opinion, when you get to see other people putting effort into creating the print stuff, which I thought was really dope. And there's a ton of it. You can find your niche, whatever it is. If it's car related, it is in Autobox. You can even get auto repair books for just about any car you can imagine, how to build an engine, all those types of things. Everything up and down the line that you can imagine in book or magazine form is in this store. It is incredible. I would love to spend tons of time there. It was even cool to see a lot of that Overlander type stuff because obviously Honda Element is kind of my thing. I came across these classics, which are actually reprints of old original magazines that you can pick up, which I did pick up one of those. I will share that in the next video. It was just so cool to see every style of car customization there. And of course, there's a Starbucks in the middle, so you could imagine I'd be hanging out here all the time if I lived in Tokyo. One of the other things that there was a lot of were these kind of like road trip and curvy road books. I thought those were really dope, like epic road trip books. There was a ton of different versions and uh, just really inspiring to see all of this stuff. Now, obviously, like I said, overlanding stuff, tons of camping gear, roof racks, boxes. It's cool to be able to see them in person. That's my, you know, that I have right there. Oh yeah, shout out to my friends at Dickies. There's a Dickies collab here. 
There's even a kids section if you want your kids to learn about math or the alphabet through cars. I think it's really dope. I'm through the whole lower floor and I'm overwhelmed. There's so much stuff. I haven't even made it to the good stuff, which is upstairs. Okay, now we're kind of in the back section of the back half section of the first floor and or the second floor technically because the garages are on the first floor where they're doing the work on the cars but basically anything you can imagine detailing products tools accessories i thought it was really cool to see even like the nylon line sockets just tons and tons of stuff no matter what you're looking for they have it it is crazy and it's so hard to go shopping here because as an American who only has a suitcase to fill up to come back I'm kind of limited as to what I can pick up but it was just really cool to see all this stuff and as you can tell I'm kind of just speechless because it's overwhelming And of course they got the car audio entertainment gear, which is one of my first loves in this car thing. It's where I worked long, long ago. So, okay, let's finally make our way upstairs. Upstairs is basically the performance area of Autobox. So when you first walk up, there's this kind of like pop-up shop room office, and it's filled with a bunch of A-bar stuff for the Fiat. And it looks, there was nobody there to ask any questions at the time we were there but it looks as if you can kind of imagine that this is something that probably changes over time from one brand to another. I did notice that they're also hosting an Abarth event later, in, later in the week, so that's probably why this is all set up here. It's probably connected to that in some way, but it's kind of cool to think of like a pop-up shop and maybe, uh, maybe this is permanent, but maybe this rotates through to a different brand, which would be really cool to just see all the brands gear in one spot. Now, stickers, any sticker you can imagine. There's, again, merch from all the brands, all the performance manufacturers. Uh, you've got Cusco, Endless, HKS, Tain. And then there's, of course, race gear, helmets, suits, gloves, socks, Nomex stuff. All of that kind of stuff is here as well. So every level of interest that you have in cars, there is something here for you. And it's pretty wild to see all of this in one place. It's honestly a dream come true for me because I've been seeing pictures and stuff of this all my life. But yeah, man. Steering wheels, horn buttons, boss hubs, suspension, tail lights. I mean, you name it, there is just everything. So I looked pretty closely at these. It would be awesome to own a spoon wheel one day, but I couldn't pull the trigger. We've got some Mugen stuff. They've actually got a ton of Mugen stuff, so I probably got a little hooked on this section considering it's one of my favorite brands. But a lot of the stuff is the brand new stuff that's available for the FK8 and FL5 and those kind of things, which obviously I'm not there yet, but one day. If you need emblems, if you need stickers, if you need any of the accessories, shift knobs, license plate frames, oil caps, radiator caps it's all there all the different brands too obviously Mugen is a big one for me but and of course they've got other brands you can see some jays racing some more spoon stuff scattered in here it's pretty much well divided into sections where like obviously these are honda related parts and accessories All of those things that you only typically see in a catalog, they're here on the shelf for you to just pick up, which is pretty freaking awesome. And although I'm a Honda guy at heart, I love me some Nissan stuff, some Datsun stuff. So there's some Nismo gear which is really cool to see. There's some TRD gear. Basically find all the accessories for all of these companies scattered throughout the store. 
again steering wheel stuff oh yeah up top they've got a bunch of different wheels if you, if you need wheels they've got you on that too it is really really overwhelming there's so many different variations of taillights that i'd never seen before bulbs that i'd never seen before just a plethora of things from all these different brands that doesn't necessarily make its way over to the states and we don't necessarily have a way to see it in person so really cool to be able to kind of like feel the steering wheels the shapes of them the materials of them because you don't get to do that in a lot of places so again mentioned the abarth night meeting they got a whole calendar of events so if you want to go to another meet super dope okay i love the gradient pattern recaro i want the orange at some point in my life it was cool to see it in person it was it fueled the fire let's say but they got a ton of recaro seats They've got all the customizations there. You can pick and choose your headrest, pick and choose your materials. Seems like they put it together too. Again, I didn't talk to anybody about this because I'm not, I'm not gonna waste their time when I'm not spending money, but it was really cool to be able to sit in all the different style of seats. Highly recommend this if you go to Tokyo and you are considering buying seats from anywhere in the world, but to be able to sit in them all and feel how they fit because they are definitely different in size and support and cushion. I think this is the best place to be able to experience it. They also have this really cool Yokohama Advan collab steering wheel. Apparently it was a limited edition drop. They were running low on them. There's only about 20 of them left when we were there. So I would assume they're gone by the time you're seeing this, but really cool. Probably stuff that I would have never known existed without seeing it here. You can get all the seat accessories, the pads, the cushions, the roll bar protectors. Obviously they have bride or brid, however you want to pronounce it. Accessories, again, taillights galore, gauges galore, anything you can possibly imagine. It's here, it's crazy. I love me some brakes though. I really love me some big brakes. Stay tuned for the element. Big break kit coming soon. <laughs> Brid seats. You can look and sit and feel and see the different setups. They're really cool. I really like the low max. I mean, obviously I'm a bigger guy, so I kind of need the adjustable seat. But if you're into Subarus, there's tons of Subaru gear, Perrin, OEM, Subaru badges, all sorts of stuff. Again, gauges, decals, accessories, Tain dolls, men's and women's Tain dolls. Suspension, exhaust. I mean, we've only made it through about two thirds of the upstairs and it just continues continues radiator hoses radiator caps any kind of clamps or clips that you might need again suspension it's cool to see the various suspension options you get to see like the actual differences between these suspension choices that we all make before we put something on our rides i thought it was super dope to be able to kind of see them up close and personal and see the details Some more Toyota GR and Subaru GR86 BRZ accessories, tons of them actually. Um, so if you need it, definitely this is the place to go. Now we kind of get into the HKS section. It's the HKS gate at Tokyo Bay. And you can see everything that HKS makes. Maybe not everything, but almost everything exhaust suspension intercoolers turbos intakes filters all of the above and it is unbelievable oh you need a bigger turbo or an intercooler here we go even if you need hks fluids they've got you and of course again suspension exhaust all of that then i spotted these puma hks shoes which are interesting because that's my world sneaker world 
but I had to take a closer look because it didn't quite look right. And they basically just have a sticker on the heel, which I thought was really odd, but the laces were cool. It's been like two hours and I'm still here wandering. It's amazing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, but it's great. I just walked out of A-Pit Auto Box. I am exhausted. It's probably like two plus hours. I have no idea. The yen is crazy right now, so I only spent like $200, but I feel like I bought a bunch of stuff, and I'll share that in a future video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate y'all. Catch you next time. Peace.